in this short demonstration, we will explore the healthcare lakehouse and data model that are part of the healthcare data solutions in Microsoft Fabric. This process will cover the steps related to deploying, configuring, hydrating, and exploring these capabilities further. Let's start by looking at how to deploy the healthcare lakehouse and data model. Within Fabric, we start by navigating to the industry solutions and selecting the healthcare data solutions. Since this demonstration is focused on the healthcare lakehouse and data model, we will only install the healthcare data foundations and sample data. Here we can see all the Fabric items that will get installed when we deploy the healthcare data foundations. Notice that this will install both the bronze and silver lakehouses, as well as the transformation notebooks. Once the deployment finishes, we can move on to installing the sample data. The sample data within the healthcare data solutions is a synthetically generated set of fire clinical records. This sample data is useful for both testing the data transformations as well as exploring the healthcare data model. Once deployed, the sample data is persisted within the Fabric workspace. If you wish to access the raw sample data, you can use the One Lake File Explorer. Now that we have deployed both the healthcare data foundations and the sample data, the next step is to configure the Fabric workspace and the healthcare config notebook. We will start by first configuring the Spark runtime settings for our Fabric workspace. To do this, we will open the workspace settings, navigate to the data engineering and science section, and then select the Spark settings. Within the Spark settings, we select the environment section and change the runtime version from 1.2 to 1.1. Now that we have updated the Spark runtime for our workspace, we can go ahead and modify the config notebook. After opening the config notebook, we need to locate the KV name setting. This stores the name of the key vault that is leveraged as part of the fire data ingestion capability. Since we are not currently using the fire data ingestion, we will simply clear out the default value and allow the notebook to save. With the capabilities deployed and configured, we can now move on to hydrating the bronze and silver lake houses with the sample data that we deployed earlier. We will start the hydration process by first opening the bronze ingestion notebook and clicking the run all button. This will take the raw fire ND JSON files and transform them into Delta Parquet tables stored within the bronze lake house. Now that the bronze lake house has been hydrated, it's time to hydrate the silver lake house. We will do this by opening the silver flattening notebook and clicking the run all button. This notebook takes the data within the bronze Delta Parquet tables and normalizes it within the healthcare data model in the silver lake house. This provides us a unified source for all of our healthcare data. It is used to hydrate the gold data models that are then served and accessed by users. Now that we have hydrated the bronze and silver lake house with data, we can start exploring them. To do this, we will start by opening the bronze lake house. By default, this will open the lake house view. Here we can see all the tables that were created and explore them further. If we navigate back to our workspace, we can open the silver lake house using the SQL endpoint. Here we can start interacting and exploring the fire resources as tables. This enables us to construct T-SQL queries to further analyze the healthcare data. In this demonstration, we explored the steps involved in deploying, configurating, hydrating, and exploring the healthcare lakehouse and data model. In future demonstrations, we will explore the other capabilities that are part of the healthcare data solutions in Microsoft Fabric.